Hi there, my plastic pepperonis, peeps. Uh, yesterday was nostalgia number seven at uh, Ruby Foo's, August 12th. Now we're August 13th, Monday, day after. Super tired. I was super busy at the beginning. It was a good show for me. I have a diversity of stuff. Maybe that's why. Uh, you know, like, if dealers are watching that are friends of mine, maybe you should diversify stuff in more different things. When I had when I did the same thing like some of my friends who shows at the show and they had only certain things they I didn't do well I used to do really not much well then I started buying collections and I started getting better in hunting buying collections talking to people and getting stuff that I know that I could flip or keep for myself and this is in the past three years let's say five years I finished so many collections that it's unbelievable. So let's go on with the show. First, I go with all the Marvel Legends I found. Loose, mint, whatever. The first one, I want to give a shout out to James for helping me find, finally, Wolverine with the head of Juggernaut. James, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I'm being honest. I'm a nice guy. You're a nice guy. I just want to make extra money on the side just to buy toys. That's all I do it for. And I have a lot of stuff. So when you accumulate stuff for the past 40 years, you know, yes, I'm gonna be 50 soon. So 40 years of collecting. And no, I will not tell you when. I thank you very much for the wonderful price you gave me. I'm gonna crack it open, put Wolverine in my collection. I like him now. I've been looking at him, looking at him all night, last night. And I go, you know what? I'm gonna keep him. And now I'm gonna have no more headless juggernaut. Yay! That's a nice find. Then I got myself one from my other friend, Mario. He got me a, a black hair uh, Psylocke. Uh, she's getting tougher to find, not rare. It's because they made a mistake with the color and she's gonna have a running change where she's gonna have purple hair. So there's not many of these around. So maybe if you guys are wanna sell a little bit of extras on the side, get one or two, don't be greedy, don't put them too high. And you know, you could go, if you sit on it, maybe maybe it'll go up high. But I really doubt it because once the purple one comes out, maybe this one will lose its value. I got that one to build Apocalypse. So now I, I'm gonna start building Apocalypse. Uh, beautiful figure, nicer than the old one. The old one I give it a one. This one I give it a five on five. Then I got myself three for my friend that does a lot of show, shows. Let's. I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Romain. And uh, I got myself Sabretooth with the arm of, uh, of uh, Apocalypse. Beautiful figure. Everyone's saying, yeah, it's a nice figure. You're going to like it even though you have like eight different Sabretooth. You know what? This is my ninth six-inch figure. Thank you for the wonderful price. And I can't wait to see you at my show in October and maybe Fantasticon. Then I got, this is a beautiful figure. This is freaking beautiful. This is the most, the most beautiful version of Magneto beautiful i love the hands i love the i don't care about an extra head the head i'm just gonna put aside I, what i do with the extra heads i just put put it next to the figure that i have open i'm gonna open all these eventually soon because i'm bored so i'm gonna open them all java java means coffee remember that okay beautiful figure this i give 10 on 5 gorgeous paint job i'm a huge x-men fan uh, I do not collect all the Marvel Legends. Like a lot of my friends know me in the, in the industry at the show and they go, no, 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 he collects Marvel Legends, but he's super picky. Because to collect all of them, no. I don't want Avengers, I have too many Avengers. I don't want Fantastic Fours, I have them all. I even have a Dragon Man, no joke. So I don't need these things. And if they make a Dragon Man build a figure, maybe I'll do it. But then it's gonna be a redonkulous high price. And then what happens? The old version is gonna go <laughs> From 800, it's gonna go down to I would say, I I speculate, I would say it's gonna go down to not even a hundred bucks. So whoever bought one, well, keep it. It's real history, it's rare. It's still gonna be worth something, but don't take my word for it. Last I got from my little, that guy too, was three of them, was uh, Punk, Punk Storm, the body. Very nice punk storm. I have the old one, which I paid 50, and this I paid 35 something. And you know what? I like them both. I still give this a five on five. Next, I got from my friend, Jason. Oh, oh, 
I got I forgot one more mint on card. I got myself a nice mint on card transparent Mysterio from Scorpio72. Thank you, Scorpio72. Can't wait for next week when you're getting married, then thumbs up. It's gonna be fun. Nice piece, good price. Uh, yeah, some people say I paid too much, some people say I didn't. So you know what? I don't give a shit. It's for my personal collection. I just want to make the lizard and keep the lizard. It's one of the nicest Build-A-Figures paint job I've ever seen in my life. That lizard, you guys have to make it. Uh, there's a lot of characters I don't like. I don't like Gwen... Uh, Gwenpool. Prowler's not bad. I don't care about the spider man I do not care about the Spider-Woman and the bad guys. I like the bad guys. I I'm sorry, but... Spider-Man's, I'm done with spider Man. I have all about, no joke, I must have at least about 60, 70 different spider man from f small ones to, five, to six inch. Come on, stop. Then, continue with Marvel Legends. I picked up a rare one, finally, from my friend. This was a two-pack in San Diego Comic-Con next year. Her head is really, really wobbly. I finally got myself a Medusa. I paid good money for it. I didn't care about the price. I went peer aside. I saw it. I PM them. I go, I'll take it. This is a beautiful figure, a sought out figure. Uh, I don't care if they make a reissue. I still want this one. I don't care about the reissue. But what I don't like about the, the new Marvel Edge, they also make a reissue. Which I find that stupid because then people, they still want the, the San Diego Comic Con, but it goes up for higher, which it should stay go lower because they reissued it but they don't but i don't understand that anyways this figure is beautiful i paid a lot this is a, a hundred a ten on five beautiful figure look how beautiful the paint job is gorgeous the paint jobs on these marvel legends now that i compared to the older ones i find that they're better not all of them but a lot of them then i got myself hold on a really nice glow in the dark I don't know where this is from, Predator, of my friend uh, Jason again too, and uh, the, the arm, come, the hand came off, but it's normal, I don't care, I'm gonna glue it or something. I love glow in the dark figures, this is my 78 glow in the dark figure, from figures from old 1960s till today, 5 on 5, beautiful figure, beautiful paint job from NECA, I like NECA, NECA is beautiful, uh, he gave me a, a DC stand, because it stands better. And there's another little staff here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That I paid 20. It was worth it. It was worth every penny. How are we are? Okay, we're at seven minutes. Good. Eight minutes now. Coffee break. Hold on. Okay. A lot of people saw me at the show. I have a lot of things in my collection. I'm talking about Montreal, Canada, Quebec, whatever. Uh, some people don't believe me on sites when uh, it's called dude on face Facebook sites when people take pictures of my rare items like my Mumbra's tomb Which Apparently I'm gonna sell and I'm selling it for a lot of money And it's super rare and people don't believe me that a Lex Luthor unpunched Canadian version goes for 165 Canadian cash money uh, not US money, but you know what? I'm sorry, guys, if you don't know your prices, don't leave a comment on Facebook because I'll tell you off. I did it in a nice way this morning, and you know who, who, which, which site it is. I'm not going to say the name. I think it's called Dude with a Sweet Collection. I said it. Guys, if you don't know me, don't comment because I have, I've been collecting for 40 years. I have almost everything, and I've had everything, and I'm not trying to be... I'm uh, I'm the best. No, I don't have a big collection. I have friends that have seven rooms full. That's 37,000 figures. I have 17,000. That's it. With comics and everything, I'm close to 18, about 19,000. That's comics, toys, uh, everything. Everything. VHS. My VHS collection is huge. Huge. My DVD collection is huge. My Blu-ray collection is huge. I even have Beta, Laserdisc. I'm not joking. I collect everything. Why? Because I'm a collector in my blood. If I could put plastic liquefied in my blood, I'll be the original plastic junkie. I'll be the only one on this planet to have a, be the living plastic man. Or not a man, a junkie. That's it. Because I am a junkie. Okay. I got this from one of my friends at the show. I love Garfield. She gave me, a, she gave me, a, she gave me this for free. Yeah, I, like, I like Garfield. 
That's a gift. That was sweet of her. Then I found from a guy I known for like, like 1990, The Outer Limits a TV uh, episode. This one is called uh, The Outer Limits. It's called Peter L Laid Harris and Beyond Eek. I don't know what that means. Whatever. Uh, VHS, yes. I still collect this. He has the whole collection of this, The Outer Limits, VHS, The Addams Family, the old version from the 60s, um, Twilight Zone, and The Monsters. This is something I've been looking for for a long time to get them all in one shot. I'm happy they're gonna go in my collection. I'm gonna watch them all. Then I got myself this from a good friend of mine. This, I believe they're from the set War, uh, Worlds of the War, War of the Worlds. Uh, leave a comment at the bottom, I forget. If they're all rubbery figures, like there's a blonde guy, there's a girl, there's a guy with dark hair, there's a, a bad guy with two heads, one he has a red mohawk, and the other one he has uh, black hair. I always forget their names. This is a nice piece, I paid 20. Uh, this comes in a pack of about six or seven, just sealed. You're talking about in the hundreds. Happy for, uh, thanks. Buddy, that you gave, I bought off this off your table. This is staying in my collection. No, it's not going nowhere. My collection of weird Odysseys, Chaos, are one, two, three, three shelves. In, in, a, in a shelf of five, I have three. On the first shelf, I see it's Secret Wars and Superpowers. Then it's all knockoffs. And then at the bottom, it's statues and a little bit of knockoffs. Next, on with the show. Met this nice guy named Alex or Dennis. I could be wrong with the name. And he made a custom G.I. Joe Stormtrooper, which I'm going to go in my G.I. Joe loose figures. I really like it. I'm not going to say what I paid because uh, I don't want to say everything I paid. And uh, really nice paint job. It's going in my loose G.I. Joes. I like customs. I don't mind, but it has to be unique. He did a, a, an Optimus Prime and a Dark Vader. I didn't want a Dark Vader. I'm not a big Dark Vader fan. I'm more of a, a, a trooper fan, tro Stormtroopers, but unique ones. Give me a stand too. It's nice of it. This is the regular ones. Then I got myself from a friend of mine, I got, uh, Lance. I got myself uh, the Chrome Lady Death Mint on card. Uh, I know a lot of people say, "Why would you want that?" There's no articulation. I go, it's not about the articulation. It's about the the the, heart, the rarity of the thing. This is, they're not hard to get. The, they're very hard to come by. Non 90 toys. So I give this a five on five. It's a weird paint job, but you know what? I like Lady Death. The complex in the toys. I have a lot of them. This is a guy that I know from Langueil. He has a lot of reactions, also. And so I got myself uh, the uh, Ken, Kane, Kane, yeah, with the chest buster. Yep, that's a good one. I pay 15. That's going to go on my wall of aliens. Then I got myself from my friend Mario, Luigi Mario, these two muscles that are really odd muscle creatures, transparent. Yeah, got a good price for them. That's going in my collection too. I'm gonna put both of them together in, a, in one of the, like a little slipcase like this and just put them on the wall. Then I got myself from a guy when I was leaving the show, I got this. The regular one of uh, Lionel, the big one. These came out, I think in, they're from Mesco. I think they came out in 2011, that's it, yeah. Because I remember they, when they first came out, I showed you a video in 2011 when I went to San Diego Comic Con. It has a little sticker and he has an extra head and an extra weapon and he's going to dark his eyes and he's growling. I have four of these, both versions of this. Uh, these shouldn't pay between 40 and 60. They don't go for more. 60 is enough. Uh, $100 is a lot. I have Mumbra here and I paid four, uh, 50 for it off a friend. And I liked it. Then I got a trade with my friend Marco. And I'm sorry if I use all their names. This is the little playset of Mega Truck, English and French micro figure playset with six figures. I opened it. I know it's I know it's rare, but you know what? I don't care. This is gonna be uh, cracked open and put in my collection. It's a really nice little thing. It's really it's pretty hard to come by. And even though I, I just cracked it open and all the pieces, little figures were all loose because the bag disintegrated. It opened inside the package. Everything was sealed. It's mine now, so I'm not selling it, and uh, I'm keeping it, and it's going to go on my shelf of uh, vehicles. Might open it or might not. Nice piece. It goes for like 100 and up. Then I found two posters of horror from one of my friends, and this is uh, Massacre 
de le train fantôme. That's pretty cool. I think it's a uh, fun house, if I'm not mistaken. I paid only, I'm not gonna tell you. Then I found another one, in French too. These little poster, movie posters go for a lot of moolah, but I'm trying to find, I have a lot of them. They're not in great shape, so they go between, let's say 15 and $25, they don't go for much. So are they rare? Yes and no, depending on the person in the world that wants different language posters. Amer maybe Americans like these stuff, I don't know. I also found this little robot from the 1970s. I didn't pay much for it. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put this in my little robot collection. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's from uh, Japan. This is beautiful, I love it. Metal, no weapon, but I don't care. What I paid was worth it. Last but not least, la creme de la creme. I got myself a full set of Barnyard Commanders. So this guy, I got this little piggy guy. His name is, hold on, I'll let you know his name. We have four minutes, it's good. This guy's name is called Sergeant Snout and Sweet. I got myself the Ram guy. It's called the Major Legger Mutton. He comes with this. I love these figures. They're all complete. I got myself... I have another one. A double. I'm going to put them with the tank. Definitely with the tank. It's a little bit variant to the different colors too. It is a... You know, you can't see, but you really have to see up close. That is a little bit variant, variant in colors. Then I got myself the, all the rest of them. I have this guy. His name is Sergeant Wooly Pullover. Then I have this guy. His name is the pig. He's named General Ham Fat Lard. Then I've got this guy here. His name is Pilot Fluffy Produc Production or something. I can't pronounce it. It's so small. Mm -hmm. Then I have Captain Tusker. Tusker something that I cannot see with my glasses. Uh, you could give me the name at the bottom. He's pretty cool. They're all complete. Well, uh, two more guys to go. Uh, Commander Fleece, Commander Fleece something, pretty cool with him, it's hard to put him in the hole sometimes. And last but not least is, hold on, last but not least is Private Side O Bacon. This is one mint on card, his name is General Hamful Lard. That is, which one is it? This one, Jennifer Hamful Lard. Mint on card. Uh, on card, they go for between 40 to 65 dollars and more. It's depending on the shape. They're not easy to come by. I asked my friend, how much are they? 70. I'll take it. I just took it, in, I took it in front of two guys while he was talking to him at the show. Three guys were eyeing it. They, they lowballed him. I gave him what he wanted. I paid 70 dollars for the whole bag the whole set of eight figures. These are rare. I have came across this. Hold on. The tank. In, a, in the past eight years. And a loose figure. So when I see something that I know, that I and I know my knowledge, and I want it, I'm just going to buy it. I'm not going to do a review on the on Barnyard Commanders because I did it at the end. So that's my finds for the show. I really appreciate you guys uh, coming to the, my table and picking up stuff, talking to me, shooting the shit and all that crap. It was a good show for everybody. I enjoyed it. I have fun with my two helpers. They're great helpers. And uh, the next show I'm going to be at Fantasticon. It's, gonna, it's in the East End. It's more of a French mixed show. There's a lot of people from Langueil. Come and check me out. Stay plastic and stay horror for life. Cheers, my peeps.